Uh, we are actually going to finish up the run that we did last time. Travel to the top of the lighthouse in Desolation Valley. Where are you? Hmm, in a bunker. Ah, here we are. Yep. Okay. Is okay. this the bunker that you showed me was right near the entrance to Timberwolf? Was... Yeah, yeah. We're right by the entrance to Timberwolf Mountain. We and, got the flare uh, gun already. We now we need to head to the lighthouse. Yeah, we frustrated the crap out of Zach because uh, he had no idea what was there. I didn't know it was there either. Yeah. It would have made all of my journeys to Timberwolf Mountain a lot easier. But uh, today, Mike, is the day that I prove you wrong. That uh, that you absolutely can beat this in the 14 days yeah. they give you? Uh, six. Six days. You only got two days. Wait. They give you 14 days, don't they? No. No, it's uh, it's like a six-day challenge. Oh, I thought it was like six days to get to the flare gun, and then another six days to get to... Nope. Six days total. Oh, okay. So, we are, right. yeah, we really are. This is the entrance to Timberwolf Mountain, so we are currently at the Pleasant Valley. Yep. And, and we got I'm plenty of grape soda. All yep, right. Yep. We're just going to, from here on out, we will be only fueled by grape soda. There you go. Stacy's grape soda, to be exact. Okay. So if you're just joining us, last time Kirk was here, we were doing this challenge. The challenge was to get to the top of Timberwolf Mountain and pick up a flare gun. And now we have to go fire it off at the lighthouse. Yep. This is the hopeless rescue. And word to the wise, avoid that area over there because... It's bear there's, country. There's wolves. Wolves, okay. Wolves, as, as I pronounce them. All right. So, so yeah, this should be a pretty easy. Yeah, going up all the way to Timberwolf Mountain would be the one that would take the most wind out of you. But now we're just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love so much of the contents and happy to be able to support you. Thank you, Scoot. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for all those bits. You're very generous. Thank you. You're far too kind. Yeah, we already got enough beard like it. We don't need any more of this garbage. You know, it's slow when it's just, down. Just in the off chance that I get bit, uh, I'm actually gonna. You don't have enough faith in yourself. You're just gonna take you know, precautions <laughs> in case I get bit. <laughs> you know, I was actually playing uh, the Long Dark earlier today before, uh, you know, shortly after I got up and. Getting some practice in. Hey, there's yeah. the point of disagreement. Yep, that is the point of disagreement. And, uh, you know, I was uh, I was getting mauled left and right by wolves, so... You're not going to search those cars? No, no, I'm good. They're not going to have anything like uh, water. Water and, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be good. You should be fine. Yep. Fable games? I sure, Zach and I would love to check out a wide variety of things in the future, sure. Fable. I played... I actually have it for Xbox 360. And, oh, are you a uh, fan? I played it... Uh, I think for a total of about two hours, and for some reason lost interest. Oh, all right. I don't. I don't know why. It was over was, a decade was ago. Was it the first Fable? <laughs> I think it was. Thank you for those gifted subs. It's Scoot. Thank you very much to Smoky Toast and Wonder King. I'm sure they appreciate it. I certainly do. <laughs> so it says we only have two days left, right? Uh, two days, thirteen hours. Oh, that's plenty minutes. of time to get the yeah. lighthouse. Oh yeah, I ain't even sprinting. I ain't yeah. even sweating this. It's just I. I needed some. I needed some closure on this. You could get so. mauled by a bear and still have plenty of time and stamina. Boy, howdy. Love love getting me mauled by a bear. And you know what, too? I, I got my pistol. Mm -hmm. Got a flare gun, so I can really mess up a bear. Want to load it, just in case? Uh, actually, thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been there, right? Yep, yep. Oh, shit. Speaking of which... Oh, he wasn't even coming at you. He barely he, even noticed you. Uh, now you've drawn his attention. So he you, yeah, definitely again. did not notice me. <laughs> he did now. You fired a flare towards him. You keep on provoking the okay. bear. Okay, okay. He's he's running. Oh, now. good. We made him run towards us. Okay. And a Shit. wolf. Can you stop wasting all your... Yeah, yeah if you fire all off all of your one flares... Left. All I need is one left. If you fire off all of your flares, you can't beat the challenge. I'm gonna go this way. Because, <laughs> holy shit. Mike, you are now forbidden to mention bears. Ah, uh, you tore and your I don't, clothing. I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> this is this is just adrenaline now. <laughs> your, tore, your clothing got torn, though, you know? That's all right. It's I am I barely am holding way. together at this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bear you, senpai has indeed noticed you, meal. Oh, oh shit, God. flare. <laughs> Mike, stop saying the b word. Okay. <laughs> you are you are forbidden from saying the b word. Butt cheese. 
That that one's fine. Thank you, Typhoon. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that that spooked me. <laughs> yeah, the bear out of the corner of your eye, which you yeah. could have just ignored it. It's like you came over the hill and came face to face with it. Well, it was walking towards us. <laughs> you could have turned to your right and just gone away from it. You know, no. I imagine you may have had a moment of panic, but still. I see bear, I shoot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the advice that they generally give you is to avoid contact with the bear if you can help it. Yep. Generally ill-advised to provoke a uh, angry thousand-pound animal. Yeah. Over a two-thousand-pound animal in the case of a moose. Oh, yeah. Just punch the bear in the face. I did yeah. that challenge recently. Punch the bear in the face. It mauled me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, funny enough, there's a, uh, there was a guy in California a number of years back who, uh, there was a smaller black bear that was harassing his, uh, dog mm -hmm. and, uh, came, came right up by his house. The dog's freaking out. And, uh, he, r he ran up to the bear and he punched it in the face. Oh, yeah. Now, the thing about black bears is they will generally back down they say uh black fight back brown Roundly. lay down yeah. white good night mm -hmm, right yeah so you no know way you're putting up a fight against a polar bear yeah no they, they they do not give a shit about anything and generally uh you know <laughs> yeah I, I i i see a man walking towards me cap him immediately that's kind of how i play uh fallout you especially know? if that man is a bear yes <laughs> um so Generally, though, uh, black bears, they're kind of, they're kind of wusses. Mm -hmm. You generally want to, like... You can wrestle your dog away from him, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll still mess you up, but they generally will back down from most fights. Mm -hmm. So if you're wearing a jacket, you know, put your hands in your pockets, unzip your jacket, and spread them, spread your jacket like wings. Yeah, and, flap uh, around a bit make a lot of noise. Yeah. Yep. Which is what you know you did. You just fired a gun at it. You could have just scared him away. Oh well, yeah, this is more of a brown bear, isn't he? Yeah, I. That's what I've. I'm trying to figure out with this game because the bears definitely are. You know. You can't exactly judge what species they are by how much aggression they have because everything in this game is pretty aggressive. Yeah, I mean they're bears. Let's let's be Walker real. it's bear of color now. <laughs> Not black bear. It's bear of color. <laughs> Nice. Um, bear of grizzly descent. <laughs> yeah. A bear uh, of non-grizzly descent. <laughs> uh, I, I prefer the term indigenous bear. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I'm on his turf. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out what kind of bear it is. And uh, still not sure. All I know is uh, I don't like him. Why are you going toward the dead end? I'm curious. Um... Yeah, this is the end of the road. There's a dead body here. That's true. That that is dead body. You get a little turn around, a little lost. Um, I thought this was the uh, mine out to. Uh, ah, okay. The uh, the coastal highway. Coastal highway. Yeah. No, that's a little further down the road. What's your favorite bear? Do you have a favorite? Uh, the red panda, because it's like count? a red raccoon. It's a type of bear. Wait, you guys believe in bears? <laughs> I I saw I saw an animatronic one at the zoo. They told me it was real, but I don't believe them. I saw an well, I saw an animatronic one at a pizzeria. It tried to kill me. Mike, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went back again and again three or four times. Oh my god. It was almost like an annual franchise kind of thing. <laughs> Kept on learning new techniques and how to take me down. Yeah, I think this is the one you were looking for. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a warning sign. A deer, yeah. Kind of want to shoot the deer in the ass. You do have 11 extra bullets. But then you have to take all the time to chase it down and harvest its meat. I, I don't want to harvest it. I just want to shoot it in the I ass. Wanna, not even for sport. I just want to murder things. Yeah. I'm a sociopath. It's, it's, it's a game, so. <laughs> yeah. Did you hit it? Let's I see missed. The, you sure? Any blood on the ground? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. I hit it. You got it, and it is indeed bleeding. It it's is. It's going to take like good three hours to bleed out, so, you know. Yep. It's it's going to die a slow, horrible death. Mm hmm But not really, because it's not freaking real. Have you ever shot an actual deer? I have. Yeah? Yep. Oh, I is have, this one? I have killed one deer in my life. Mm hmm Um, hunting. I was, uh, maybe like 
God, I don't know how old I was. I, I was I was a young teen, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I'd been up deer hunting with my dad for forever and a day, but uh, I only got to like take the BB gun and a uh, uh, few times that we went and I could shoot a rifle. Um, you know, we didn't see any deer because we suck. Mm -hmm. But uh, this particular time, I had my dad's. Uh, Remington model 700 30 out six mm -hmm. and uh, we're sitting and see a deer come through and um, I draw a bead on him I was probably maybe a hundred yards away yeah and, uh, it starts looking over its shoulder and towards you uh, no no it, it was uh, kind of like parallel with me okay and oh I should I should eat something here you aren't um, getting hungry. You don't want to lose that bonus. Yep. And, uh, you know, I draw a bean on him, and uh, it starts to look over its shoulder. And usually what that means is there's other deer coming. Hmm. Um, and my dad tried to tell me this, and as he opened his mouth, I pulled the trigger. <laughs> um, now, this, this deer, mind you, uh, it looked plenty big in my scope. Mm -hmm. uh, plenty big. And uh, the thing is, though, when I shot it, I, I saw its right leg go, like, flying up in the air, like, still attached to it by a flap of skin. Uh-huh. Uh, because... Did you shoot it in the leg? No, I, I shot it right through the heart. Okay. Like, it was... I, I don't miss. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, though... Um, it was a very small deer and could not really take the hit of a thirty out six very well. Oh, In fact, it was a button buck. <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, so it had just gotten rid of its spots. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I guys, uh, folks, I'm sorry. I shot Bambi. I did, and Bambi was tasty. I tell you that much. Well, you got some meat out of him, I suppose. Yep. Haven't uh, some deer nope. veal. Yeah. Uh, haven't uh, haven't been hunting. Really, for deer since. Mm. So, it was a long time ago. Yeah, I got my one deer too. It was an eight point. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> How's your retirement from the Enterprise, Kirk? Uh, you know, I uh, I sit back and I uh, play some video. It's it's good. It's real good. I mean, you know, still uh, still occasionally uh, hop on a space yacht and uh, kind of go philandering around. And, and, uh, flirting with alien species, but yeah, you know, flirting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, uh, we know where some that leads. Of, some sort of gator monster. <laughs> you know how it goes. Make some kind of monster hybrid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I like to play God. That's rifle ammo. I don't need that. Uh, you don't need it, but technically, you don't even need a rifle. Oh, yeah, an MRE or a pistol. Uh, sure, I'll take all that. It'll, it'll do me well. Okay. Oh yeah, we got. You might want to eat something. You know what, Mike? If you if you, you ever let yourself you starve, right. you're gonna lose that extra five pound bonus. You know what? You are right, and that five pound bonus I think also helps you speed up a little bit. I think so too. So this MRE I think is gonna just power me through to the end. Does Kirk have a YouTube channel or a Twitch? I don't believe he does. I do not. I uh, I tend to not do much of anything on social media. Period. I did, however, post on Facebook for the first time today in about four years, so. Yeah, so he's getting back into the swing of things. He's posting Instagram lunches for everybody to see. <laughs> right. Uh, what, what are my clothes looking like? Oh, I got I got some. You got so much there. clothing. And I, and I got mucklucks on. The, the chances of getting mucklucks during a run like this are pretty much nil, but. Yeah, you probably take off all your out. clothes except the mucklucks and be fine. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'd do it IRL, but I'm very popular on TikTok, huh? Oh, shit. Doing I... those Fortnite dances on TikTok, yes. <laughs> Dead end. Lantern. Hey. Mm, take a lantern just in case. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, is there? Is there? Yep, there is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep on cruising here. Why does your character in this game take his gloves off for everything? Because uh, it's difficult to manipulate things when you got gloves on. Yeah, or the, the animation, like, they've they've never put uh, gloves on the uh, your character. It's kind of 
kind of weird, but uh, it's just just what it's been. It's probably a thing about functionality. Yeah, you could do that, but then if you got mittens on, would you be allowed to use a flare or things like that? Mm-hmm. Would you be able to use a rifle? Probably oh, not. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Zero. Zero is here. Hello, Zero. That scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. All right, we're at two days, 11 hours, 22 minutes. Yeah, it took you two hours to get through all of the, the of uh, Pleasant Valley, so I'm mm -hmm. not too worried about you not being able to make this run. Yes, we will have closure. Ooh, Charlemagne the, th the 12th got a sub. Nice. It's hard to scratch your balls with gloves on. Uh, that's, that's true. That's definitely that's true. why the main character isn't doing that. Yep. Even if it's the female main character, which I, I believe you're currently playing as. Yes, we are. We Sometimes are she wants to scratch character. her balls too, and I'm not going to judge her for that. Yep. All right, there is a Firewatch Tower up here. Oh, yeah. I am very familiar with the Coastal Highway. I love yep. this area. And I am, if there's the rope there, I'm just going to repel it down. Between the Coastal Highway and I don't need that. <laughs> Desolation Point. Yeah, these, these are my favorite areas. Abandoned Civilization is way more interesting than large expanses of unexplored territory. It really is. In her case, it would be thighs or boobs or ovaries. Or all three. Yeah. What, you mean, you, you don't think guys have thighs they want to scratch? Yep. I got some, I got some thigh itch. The thing is, you can easily scratch your thighs with mittens on. Maybe not so much balls. Balls require a gentle yeah, touch. Yeah, thighs, thighs though, especially like right, uh, inner thigh inner upper thigh mm -hmm. if you got a scratch though like whatever pants you're wearing there's no such thing as convenient pants to be wearing when you have to do that because nine times out of ten you end up like pinching your inner thigh and mm. it just hurts like hell you having trouble getting up the lighthouse right here the uh, i'm just uh i was looking to see if there's a chest because sometimes there's a rope and i would much prefer to repel down than have to go around Right, but a chest? I don't think I've ever seen a chest. A chest has got a rope in it or something? Yeah, I think that was at a different... Uh... Oh, rope! Rope. There it is. Huzzah. Yeah. More soda to power your soda binge? Yep. I'm on a bender. Line, wood matches, and there's yeah. a bunch of wood in here we can probably just ignore. Yep. We've got plenty of sustenance. We could probably not eat anything until the very yeah, end. Yeah, we anyway. just, we're just going to rapple down. Honestly, at this point, all I have to do is rappel down, walk down the highway, walk through the uh, broken down highway connecting area, and then you're basically there. Mm -hmm. The lighthouse isn't even very far into Desolation Point. Yeah. The okay. only game ender would be if you somehow got attacked by a pack of wolves, which has happened before. Yep. Unless it's shorts, then it's easy. But cargo pants and jeans are the worst for inner thigh itches. Mm-hmm. Especially if... Uh, How would you wear cargo pants and jeans at the same time? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think snow pants are worse, personally. Oh, yeah, because they make that noise. To get through. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, jeans, if your jeans don't have any elastic in them, dude, you're screwed. <laughs> mm -hmm. You didn't even look before you started descending. Maybe there's a bear down there. No, there might be, but I have a flare gun. I feel empowered. Okay, yeah. You've got a flare gun and a pistol. You got no fear. This is, this is a challenge on easy mode. Oh, your phone's going off. Or is that yep. mine? That's, that's yours. That's mine. Use a stick, yeah. Is it your wife telling you thank you for the curry you made tonight? Uh, probably. Do I want this? I don't need that. You don't need I, anything, I don't, I don't honestly. Know. You can just nope. Nope. take out. You could get a, take a beeline. You got what? Ten hours left. Yeah, but I'm two, feeling rushed. You have two days and ten hours left, right? Yeah, I'm feeling rushed, though. You're feeling rushed? You want to get it done as yeah. fast as possible? Yeah. Because I'm definitely on track to uh, beat my personal best. Ooh, all right. I, I don't remember what it was, but uh, <laughs> it certainly did not go this fast. Let's see if you can beat my personal best. <laughs> Which is not at all. I've done this challenge before. You completed it? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought... I thought you had it. No, I did. I did it once. Oh, okay. I, I I completed it once. I've attempted it multiple times, but it's a pain in the ass. Okay. I don't know, Mike. Seems pretty easy to me. Yeah, I suppose once you know everything. <laughs> BTW, I missed Zach's stream last time to a prior commitment and didn't gift shit, and I felt bad, but tell him he is not forgotten, and between <laughs> you two, there is no favoritism. All right, I'll have to pass that on. 
Do I have any social media? Yeah, I got a Twitter account and a, and a should, YouTube. Should you should I? check out my YouTube. I do good stuff on the YouTube. That he does. You don't need a pry bar? Where we're going, we don't need no pry bars. What? God, you remapped this thing from the... Which the one? What? Controls. I'm trying to just get rid of... Uh... Oh, yeah, put your gun down? Yeah. Was it J now? Or what? It's the one like right next to your D button, so it's like one over F, right? Oh. Yeah. Wow. It's like right, it's right there by your finger, so it's easy enough. That's why. I why would you remap the stock controls? Because the stock controls damage my fingers. What? Ow! You got some weak sauce fingers, Mike. I'm sorry. Well, don't judge my weak ass fingers. <laughs> I don't feel like stretching it across the entire keyboard. Fuckers took my wallet and pry bar. No, we left it behind in the snow for you to find. <laughs> Just, just imagine walking through a frozen wilderness, and you're just like patting down every corpse you come across, bashing uh, it with a crowbar. Yep. Or you'd be patting it down for its wallet. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got here? Some socks. These are in pretty good condition. I'll take these. Yep. Yep. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, this is like dead guy. Ugh. I'm, I'm just gonna run. Screw it. No OnlyFans? Why do people keep on asking for an OnlyFans? <laughs> I literally said that to uh, Mike earlier. Ooh, you're exhausted. <laughs> you should take a nap. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. If you get mauled by a bear, it's going to be difficult to recover all your health. Damn it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say the B word. It's, you know, you probably go a lot faster if you could sleep and then sprint. You'd get it done in a lot, in a lot faster IRL time. That bear's yeah. way off on the lake. He'll be fine. You can easily go around him. Uh, yeah, I'm going this way. No, I've not tried Sea of Thieves. I've seen some pretty funny stuff from Sea of Thieves, though. Yeah. Somebody gets attacked by, like, a ghost ship, a kraken, and, like, uh, some megalodon at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're not going to take a nap? You're getting kind of cold, too. I'm good, Mike. Get a little I am good. I I think I'm gonna recover that while I'm in the uh, next mine. Okay. Are you are you gonna sleep in the mine? Nope. No. I'm I'm pushing straight through. It's it's not even midday yet. You're gonna try and beat it by the end of this this game day. I am. Okay. And it's gonna happen. All right. One shot. I've never heard of one shot. Yogi's not following us, really. No, I knew he wouldn't be. He's passive. He doesn't harm you at all. Have I tried any VR games? Yeah, my brother got a VR set, and I tried that one rhythm game where you slap things with the with the sticks. Beat Saber. Have you tried Beat Saber, Kurt? <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> what do you got to do? Uh, I would just. Uh, sorry, I would. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beat Saber! Uh, you think it's sexual, huh? <laughs> I, did, I didn't say that. <laughs> I beat my Saber twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about my penis. I've got a video game addiction. <laughs> <laughs> if you get attacked by a bear, just play dead. If that doesn't work, don't worry. You don't have to play dead for much longer. <laughs> You just finished your first day of freshman year. Well, congratulations. One day down and four years to go. Freshman year of I'm what? Gonna, I'm going to assume high school. Oh, man. We got we got high schoolers in the uh, probably in our viewers here? Yeah. We're older than the vast majority of people that exist in the world. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that bear still following you? Probably. Yeah, you can probably uh, smell my nervous gas from here. Mm-hmm. Is that curry you had earlier? But mm -hmm. when you made that curry, did you did you make it all for her, or did you save a little for yourself and eat that on the way? Oh, there's a lot of leftovers. Oh, you eat that later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is for uh, multiple meals. Mm -hmm. Good veggie uh, korma curry. Yeah, there's really no um, no threats left in your path right now. Just a couple of wolves in the connecting area, and then yep. maybe a few wolves in between you and the lighthouse. But yeah. Right now, you're just kind of going through the motions. You've already beaten this for the most part. Yep, yep. And you died. You doubted me, Mike. I didn't doubt you. Ah, no! <laughs> Don't pop me. So, Kirk, I've been telling Mike and Zach my very short experiences with military recruiters.
Also you got any of those eponephrine flavored energy drink? I wish I had some. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I would, I would energy r- drink. really, I would really like some, but I, I'm not, I'm never going to risk that again with my uh, heart being the way it is. Oh, you got a bad and, heart? Uh, uh, it's, it's iffy. It's, it's just iffy. I, it's, it's hard to explain. Okay. Okay. How do I crouch? Where did you control move is still at? crouch? Control. No, it's it's usually C, Mike. Oh, <laughs> Matt, why, who would make that C? What would you? Do? Okay. <laughs> um, it's so yeah. Uh, military recruiters. Um, I can I can tell you firsthand uh, that uh, military recruiters are like. First off, um, if they're decent people, they're not a good recruiter. Straight up. Oh, yeah, you have to be a shitty person if you want to recruit oh, yeah. people in the and, military. And it is the most horrific command you can be a part of, period. What do you want? What do you want, huh? Probably wants to charge at you, get a nice little... Oh, headshot from you, apparently. Headshot. Oh, you're not, you're not going to harvest any of this corpse? You're going to let it go to waste? Hell no. Let the crows eat them. <laughs> um, what about this guy? You going to let the crows eat that guy, too? Yep, pretty much. Oh, hell. <laughs> Careful, you only got ten bullets. They're desperate. Holy fuck, you fucking executed him. <laughs> yeah, he <you> dropped him. <laughs> dropped him like a bag of rocks. Nah, that one's too intimidating. Okay. Yeah. That one's already gone. I know I mean business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, military recruiters, God, they're... Uh, yeah, fuck them. Seriously. Um, I... Part of me feels bad for them because legitimately they get abused by their command. Like, they get psychologically tortured into doing what they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially the Marine recruiters. Like, they, they get treated like absolute dog shit. We're talking about guys who've been in for a decent amount of time. You know, they've, they've done their shit duties and then they get thrown into this, like, shark tank of, you know... Bureaucracy and... Breaking oh. down children's spirits. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I and I have to my uh, to my great shame, I have participated in it. I didn't have much of a choice because I was on recruiter's assistance. It was the only way that I could have like a decent amount of leave time after I got back from uh, boot camp. What the hell? Oh, is this oh, where the God run ends? Damn it! Is this where the run ends? God damn it! No. <laughs> Here you uh, thought it was gonna be a bear or a wolf or hypothermia. Whoo. Nope, glitched. Yep. Yeah. So uh, my experience with that. Are you walking backwards this, right uh, now? I am not. Uh, my experience with that was that uh, I was uh, put under this uh, sergeant, who was like the worst recruiter ever. He <laughs> he was just like a genuinely nice guy, just kind of like a bumbling idiot when it came to doing his job though, and the command hated him. Mm-hmm. And um, the uh, gunnery sergeant that was running our recruiting command was a sadistic son of a bitch. Um, he tells us all that, um, you know, hey, you know, new Marines, you get someone in to uh, be interviewed and, you know, I'll, I'll let you off uh, early for the weekend. Uh-huh. And I do so. And... I uh, I go and I uh, ask him about it because the sergeant told me to go ask the gunnery sergeant. And uh, he's like, fuck no, you're working the entire goddamn weekend. <laughs> Who the fuck you think you are coming in talking to me and fucking just like goes off. And so wait, you recruited somebody and then they wouldn't. I, you- I didn't recruit someone. Ah. He said, like, you just bring someone in for an interview and, you know, we'll uh, we'll take care of you. Mm hmm. And uh, it was just backstabbing like that. And then the thing is, this gunnery sergeant, he hated the sergeant that I was under to begin with. Mm -hmm. And we had to run all over God's green earth all weekend long. He was, uh, the gunny told him, like, you're not going home this weekend. (laughs) Made him fucking sleep on a cot in the office so he could go home to his wife and children. Uh And then (laughs) along with that, too, he... uh, uh, the sergeant did something else that he didn't like, so he ordered a. I won't need that. Um, he ordered a lance corporal 
So this is a uh, junior enlisted. Yeah. Not oh, a non E3, officer. a low yep. E3. Um, he, or, he orders this uh, Lance Corporal to supervise this sergeant. The E5. Uh, the E5, who severely outranks him. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he is made to clean out the government vehicle, just some shitty Chevy Malibu, mm -hmm. while he vacuums it out in his dress blues. Okay. Uh, at another point, he also uh, proceeded to... Uh, this Gunny uh, sounds like a real asshole. Oh, he was a piece of shit. His name's Gunny Love. Apparently, he... Uh, and uh, Fuck him. I, I, have, I have no qualm saying that. Uh, I think he actually runs the recruiting school out in San Diego now, uh, which is, like, at uh, the recruit depot. So mm -hmm. it's at, uh, you know, it's at the uh, uh, boot camp. Yeah, Gunny Love is is a big fucking hulk of a man, too. And uh, here we are, Desolation Point. And he also happened to be a Golden Gloves boxer. Mm -hmm. Like a multi-time multi, multi -time, uh, Golden Gloves champion, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he arranges a good old friendly boxing match. Okay. In uh, amongst the uh, young Marines and recruiters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he has all the uh, new Marines, you know, so we got to throw our names into a hat. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm not good at boxing. I went down pretty damn quick. Um, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. And I also don't like getting hit in the face, so. Fair yeah. enough, yeah. So <laughs> take your L and move, move on. Yeah, it's what the fuck ever. So, also, I was a string bean. Yeah. And... The thing is, though, he can't, um, he can't, uh, have the recruiters, you know, the senior enlisted guys do a boxing match against the junior enlisted because that could be construed as some sort of abuse. Mm -hmm. But he also needs to throw his own hat in the ring and the, uh, oh, you know, gonna, the non-commissioned officers yeah. to, uh, to make it seem like it's, you know, like a legitimate thing. He wants to box people. He's just a yep. sociopath. He wants to punch people in the face. Exactly. So what this son of a bitch does is he takes uh, he takes the uh, names in the hat and he makes he makes them all go through one one by one and you know we're watching the boxing matches and then he kind of snuck off very briefly with the uh, hat mm -hmm. to uh, you know for whatever reason. Hmm. Kind of sus, but whatever. Okay, now it's time for the sergeant that he hates. Mm -hmm. And what do you know? The sergeant happens to pick Gunny Love's name. Uh -huh. I, I looked through a few of the uh, few of the damn names afterwards, and they all had his name on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, and the sergeant, he was not he was not a big dude. Um, it was just an excuse for the scunnery sergeant to beat the fuck out of him. Mm -hmm. That's an animal over there, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's a wolf. No big deal. Yeah. Get out of here. I mean, it seems like it might be pretty blatant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was It was really blatant. Uh, there was another point where he duct taped a phone to the sergeant's hand because he uh, let it go to voicemail once for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, so while I was on... Uh, <laughs> it's like the military is the one place where you're still legally allowed to haze people. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was hazing the ever-loving shit out of them. There was a bunch of stuff that I... Uh, that I heard about only uh, afterwards. Um, so, a few years later, I get a uh, phone call while I'm actually out in Mojave Viper. Um, so this is 29 Palms, California. One of the few places where I could actually get um, get some cell reception. Phone rings. Mm -hmm. And, hey, this is, uh, this is Captain... Uh, or Lieutenant So-and-So with the Navy JAG office. Like, okay, what can I do for you, sir? Well, um, th thing is, uh, Corporal, we, uh, we're going to need you to uh, come back to uh, Michigan for a court-martial. Um, <laughs> All right. As a witness to, uh, to this uh, abuse that took place uh, from this state to this state of... Uh, you know, Sergeant So and So at the hands of uh, this uh, gunnery sergeant Love. Okay. And I'm like, oh shit. He's like, yeah. So. Uh, oh, so we actually he actually had uh, that he got in trouble for this. Yeah, there was a court martial uh, because finally this sergeant uh, 
refused orders. Mm -hmm. He finally was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And just like walked away. Ah. And uh, there was a subsequent uh, court martial where uh, the sergeant got busted down to corporal and they allowed him to finish up his... The, so uh, the sergeant got list. busted List-up. down. Oh, I, yep. oh. So the sergeant uh, files, uh, files a complaint with the JAG office and proceeds to... Uh, there, there's like a... Uh, you know what the, uh, the command was that was the, the final straw? So we said to no. Yeah, yeah, he he just refused orders. But do you know it, you know what orders he refused? Oh, it was it was another like brazen abuse. So uh, hey, we're here at two days, seven hours, four minutes. And there we have it. Challenge over, and you beat my time. That's the best time. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Think, Thank you. Wait, oh yeah, you did it in four days, sixteen hours. Did you have to do it in a week? It looks like. Yep. Yep. So last week I got called by the army and I said I'd join only if I could get to M1 Abrams or an Apache helicopter. Last Monday I got called by the Air Force and said but I want to A-10 Warthog upon completion if not I'll settle for an AC-130 <laughs> dude hung up and hasn't called back. Yeah, yeah, fucking just give them shit like that. Like, uh, if, if any of them approach me approach me i'd probably tell him you know i'd uh, i'll fucking serve crack before i serve this country but <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> um yeah so as it uh, as it panned out though um i guess the command what do you know the command is very much um preferred this uh decorated gunnery sergeant and the um the sergeant was busted down to corporal was allowed to finish up their second enlistment so, and then get, like, a bad conduct discharge. Uh, they were threatening him with, like, a dishonorable or something. Uh-huh. And this uh, gunnery sergeant, he uh, he got put in charge of the recruiting school in San Diego. Oh, so he didn't actually get punished for... He got fucking promoted! Oh, yeah. this world sucks. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Mike is... Uh, going to finally introduce me to Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, have you never played it? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. I'm shocked, actually. Yeah. You want to take the reins here? Oh, I can do it from this chair. It's fine. Okay. I'll use a controller yep. right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, My so... short, weird recruiting story, I was a cadet at a senior military college. One of my buddies who didn't want okay. to commission got a bunch of speeding tickets, and had to report it to one of our military professors, who is active military. When he went to inform the officer, the professor proceeded to take my buddy's speeding ticket and write the officer pay schedule on the back of the ticket. If, uh, if recruiters are harassing you, uh, you, can, uh, you can just tell them that a uh, marine sergeant told you the truth about the military, that it fucking sucks, it's not worth it. <laughs> I do have actual lifelong problems that are going to affect me forever. Physical uh, and mental? Yep, absolutely. Uh, so glad I never got deployed. Yep, it's it's really fucked. And uh, it's, you know, I have gotten some uh, really incredible benefits from it, but uh, there's other ways to uh, make something to your life. Seriously, don't, don't join the military. Yeah, just because you joined the military does not mean you made something of your life anyway. Yep. All right, so you have this uh, this this strange bear-like creature. Oh yes, let's talk about the game that I'm playing. It's a platformer game. Right now, I'm about halfway through it. I've All done. Right. I've completed the first five levels. There's still about four to go. So yeah, you're a bear with a backpack and a, and, a, and some shorts and a bird. Well, yeah. banjo up, boys. This is one hell of a game. Yeah. May you enjoy this as well. Hey. Man, I am terrible at haikus. I think you're pretty good. Thanks for the bits, Aranera. Yeah, I got a little red bird in my backpack. Kind of fun. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't imagine Mike would be the person he is today if he ended up in Iraq. Yeah, you know, uh... I certainly would not really be nearly as happy as I am. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I think you're you're very much uh, the same generally happy person that uh, I knew back in high school. I might be going this way. I might be going this way. Sorry, I gotta navigate my way to the level to get to the next player. When right. you get to the hub world, you have to go through all the entirety of the hub world. So, um, that wasn't nice, Mike. Yeah. Why would you hurt that person? It, well, he, he went raw at me, and that you know that's right, that's right. that's provo provocative. <laughs> it is.
Ah. Touch me. There you go, Masonic. Personal space issue. <laughs> hey, Masonic told me to do it. If Masonic told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it more than once? No, because that would affect me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I unlocked a jiggy in here. Did I get that? I did, yeah. So yeah, you're going, you're running around collecting jigsaw puzzle pieces. That's the entirety of the game. Hello. I want to play a game. That that kind of jigsaw? That, no, not quite, not quite that okay. kind of jigsaw. Okay. Why do I talk all the time? It's really hard to make these rhyme. Yes, yeah, so that is the antagonist who harasses okay. you the entire game while you're trying to do this thing. Some, some fucking naunt who just... That's the witch who kidnapped my sister. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Kidnapped, okay. Yeah, she uh, kidnapped my little eight-year-old baby sister to steal her beauty and use it to turn herself beautiful. Oh, uh, sweetie, have you heard of Mary Kay? <laughs> I don't even start uh, with ML. Uh, that would have affect you... <laughs> me, just like the military. Yep. <laughs> you heard of Mary Kay? Have you heard of uh, Botox? Honey, there's things they can do for you. Regenerative creams. Yes. I forget where I'm supposed to be going exactly. This, this hub world is uh, a little big, and I have, I'm a little unfamiliar with it at the point at this point. All right. But uh, can I just say this uh, this bird this bird got legs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. So I, I have a stupid question. Yeah. Um. Define a platformer game for me, because I always thought of platformer as 2D. Oh, uh, yeah. A platformer game is a game that's got platformers, essentially. And that's that's how I would describe it. Like you it. jump from platform to platform. Right. Okay. Like, there are first-person games that try to be platformers, and generally they're pretty bad at it because you can't see your feet. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of jumping from platform to platform in this game and trying to make jumps. and Yeah. Okay. It's all about the physical movement through the 3D world space, unlike games that, phys that mainly focus on the gunplay. So we're gonna go into this this level today. We're gonna go to the haunted house level, uh, Mad Monster Mansion. We gotta find ten jigsaw pieces in here. Okay. Okay. We have to ostensibly find all the jigsaw pieces before the shotgun collar around our neck detonates, or <laughs> something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, before our sister gets turned into a, a monster. Okay. Okay. Do you have to? Okay. So who's Banjo and who's Kazooie? I am Banjo. I am the bear. Okay. If we had played the introductory sequence, you could have seen the bear playing the banjo and the kazooie playing the kazoo. Okay, so do do you have to uh, do you have to like take a hacksaw and cut uh, kazooie's head off? Not or? that, not quite that jigsaw. No, no. No. Okay, I, I'm. Okay, so do we have to um, figure out how to work on kazooie? Holy shit, Kirk! It's the plot to saw six. <laughs> <laughs> So I am going to try and avoid these ghosts. <clears throat> the um, the ghosts seem to have an unfair advantage. Yeah, they can go through the hedges, and they're pretty fast. Yeah. I do have immortality I could activate, but it requires golden feathers. And it will kill them, so, you know, I might do that every once in a while. How did you manage to kill a ghost? How, how can you kill that which is already dead? You would think that wouldn't be a thing, but that, I've sent them to double hell now, so goodbye. Okay, okay. I won't be harassed by that specific ghost anymore, but there are a few more. Alright, alright. So, the, I don't want to die, like, there, there's really no punishment in this game, but you see the, how I'm, I'm collecting notes right now? Yeah. Um, those are important for progressing in the game, and if I, if I die at any point, it gets reset to zero. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, progressing? Progressing. Okay, I, I could have sworn I heard you say as progressing. So, as sometimes I say it in weird ways, just all as right. I can. Got that Midwestern, uh, one of those weird mid Midwesternisms. Sure. Calling things soda and pop. He exorcised them, the feathers are holy. <laughs> Why can't I break open this gate? He got some, he got some weak beat going on. Yeah. It's, it's strange, I feel like I should be able to, okay, weird. Hmm. I don't know. Oh well, I'll just keep on exploring then. Okay, a wiggly blue orb. Those a, are eggs, yep. A golden leaf. Eggs. That's what I used to kill the ghost. Okay. So as I was saying, if I die at any point, I uh, my note count gets reset. So if I, I'm trying to collect all 100 notes in the, in the area, but if I die when I've got 50 in my inventory, then if I want to get more than 50, I have to start collecting them all over again. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, I, this is this is really nostalgic for me. Uh. Hold on. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. Oh. <laughs> oh Who mean, woke Napper when he's sleeping? I can hear someone down there creeping. Oh, so I have to be very quiet if I want to get that. Okay. Uh, what's our all-time favorite games? Hmm. I'm trying to think. So if I touch this, I think it, I think if I touch the wooden planks, it'll be very creepy. Can I tiptoe on them though? I think he heard me. Yep. He's awake. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. Um, so my all-time favorite game, honestly, I think it has absolutely become The Long Dark. Oh, I, is that uh, your new favorite game? Yeah, yeah. I uh, used to be... Yeah, Fallout 4 was really good, but uh, I, I used to really love Command & Conquer Red Alert. Um, you know, I've recently replayed it a bit. Um, and... I'm not as I'm not nearly as enamored with it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely the long dark. Hmm. If I remember correctly, the way to get this puzzle piece is I gotta fall in through the roof at some point. I don't exactly know because I can't or touch the drop roof. that chandelier on his head. Or yeah, maybe how do I do that? Yeah, I probably have to drop the chandelier on his head or something. That also seems rude to me, Mike. My golden prize, you may not take. Not while old nappers awake. All right. Okay, so make him uh, sleep forever. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's gonna kill the ghost. Make him double dead. Long Dark is a great game. If you had to pick a favorite, that's a good one to pick. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, this is this is definitely making me nostalgic. I I have to uh, have to say another favorite was actually Super Mario 64. Oh yeah. Um, and. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time was a big one for me. Um, but this is this uh, game is definitely making me nostalgic for uh, uh, Mario 64 because of the uh, compressed textures on it. Oh yeah, <laughs> and how how the 64 couldn't really like it's got these kind of like odd mushy walls everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's it was such a cool system though. Like I, I thoroughly enjoyed my Nintendo 64 more than my friend's uh, PlayStation. Oh yeah, definitely. PlayStation One. I don't. I didn't think it was all that great, honestly. But mm -hmm. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed like Jet Moto. That was uh, and Road Rash. Those were some great games we used to play together. Oh. Go away! Go away! All right, I'm out of golden feathers now. I gotta oh, find baby. more if I want to keep on using my ghost killing powers. Hey, hey. number one. All right. <laughs> so, I just noticed the little pendant that uh, that our boy is uh, oh, wearing. He's got a tooth he, pendant, yeah. Yeah, he he definitely looks like some uh, some like California surfer dude <laughs> type of vibe, mm -hmm. except like a poser. For a uh, California surfer dude who lives in Michigan. It's something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, hang loose. Like, dude, you, you live on Lake Michigan. Uh, there's no major waves. <laughs> you know, my boss actually has that. My The, the chat might remember him as the, the boss that I had that that, uh, that traded his um, truck for a pig. Uh, so that that boss also had a necklace that he always wore. It looked exactly like Banjo's now that you, now that you mention it, yeah. Oh. But he wore it because his daughter made it for him, which is a, yeah. a bit more understandable. Oh, yeah. Greetings, oh solid one. I'm Tumblr the Mighty. Solve this puzzle! Okay, I gotta spell out Banjo-Kazooie before I die. B... Oh, shit. Uh, Mike. Don't do that. Yeah, let's stay out of the... Okay, that guy just goes around in a circle. I can ignore him, then. Okay, gotta find N now. There's a J and an O. Where's the N? Camera ain't helping here. There it is. Okay, don't do that. Got that. Don't touch the band. The, the, the witch squares. Got it. J. This is this is a tense moment. It is. I might not be able to do it. I might run out of time. There's a kid. There's a J. 
And there's probably an A down here. Okay, yep. Mike, don't do not do that. I gotta find a Z now. <laughs> the long dark sure looks different to how I remember it. Yeah, um, it's, it has really evolved over the years. Or devolved, I suppose. Yeah. Depending on how you want to look at it. I was, uh, I was just telling Mike earlier how... Oh boy. Um, they changed the, uh, bear chase, uh... <laughs> this is the bear chase, yeah. Ooh, hey! Yeah! Um, yeah, they changed the, uh, the hunted, uh, sequence for the challenge. You're, you're, that, you're talking about the actual change they made during the Long Darks, uh, challenge? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the challenge itself is actually how the story mode used to be. Um, where you just have to kind of get the old bear rifle, then you need to chase the bear down and, uh, shoot it in these different zones. Um, but whereas now, uh, you have to get the bear Holy shit, spear. Mike, that was Stanley the Shot Glass. I killed Stanley the Shot Glass, oh no, I'm sure he'll forgive me. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta get a, uh, spear and the, um... The bear will actually drag you into its den, and then you need to sneak around and, like, do battle with the bear. Mm -hmm. It's, uh... It's a lot better sequence now. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Pardon me while I navigate around here. Carefully. Avoid, uh, those skeleton fellows. I got... Oh! Okay, I, can, I think I have to aim for the lock on that door or something. Just swimming around in a well, don't mind me. It's, uh, it's bigger on the uh, inside. Oh boy. Hey Mike, watch out. Gonna watch out for those things, yeah. It's okay, I got plenty of health, probably. Uh, nope, 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 I'm losing it. Yeah, you're, you're dying. As long as I keep my health, I should be fine. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I might want to get out of here so I don't die. I might want to get all these notes, but I got to be very careful about it. Does me asking you to poke Mike bother you? No, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice little, uh, you know, distraction here and there. It bothers me. What's a little that more. kazooie little banjo oh, yeah, fell down the well? <laughs> yeah. Better go fetch him. Oh boy. Was, I'm uh, definitely navigating. Yeah. Doing it. With these old Nintendo 64 controls, it's, it's no uh, easy feat. <laughs> Mapped onto a freaking Xbox One. Yes. Controller. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more note here. Okay. And then the skull token. And then I got to surface for air. Okay. Yes. Definitely time to surface for air. Got to go find some health. I don't want to die right now. If poking him bothers him, try whacking. That might help. Oh, or just nice. maybe don't violate my physical space. Maybe don't do that. Yeah, I, uh, I don't have very good boundaries, Mike. I'm sorry. I was very poorly, uh, very poorly taught as a child. Now, I want to go down there because I think I see some things I can get, but also I, I think if I touch that, I'm going to get bitten by piranhas or something. Worth it. Um, I think I hear... Actually, I can probably come over here because I hear boots. I hear boots. Where the heck are my boots? Are you playing this via the oh. Xbox app? Down there. Oh, did I miss him? Yeah, it's on the other side of the wall there. Oh, how do I get over there? Uh, hmm. I, no I, could probably, I could probably just fly like this. All right. Yeah, we did it. All right. Nice. We got the waiters. <laughs> All right, ignoring those. How do I get up there? It's kind of, it's too high. Hmm. How long get your golden feathers? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. I'm about to lose that. Hmm. Maybe I come to the well and... Actually, before I do anything, I want to try and get some health. I gotta go find some health. Can I kill this guy for health? I'm curious. Yes. Okay, good. You were a dumb child, Kirk. I was. I, uh, I freely admit that. Weren't uh, we all, though? Weren't we all pretty stupid children? I was... I think I was particularly bad, but, uh, that's... I think that's primarily because I know what was going on in my head. It wasn't much. All right, got three out of five Jinjos. I guess I could just jump and fly over to them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What are the uh, red feathers for? Oh, you're going back. Uh-oh. 
Red feathers help you fly if you find a flight pad. Uh, flight pad. You're ugh, man. Not looking too good there, Mike. Yeah, I gotta be very careful with these jumps. I definitely don't want to die right now. I have a very pathetic note count. I was a smart kid. I conned people into buying free bark. I made a point. Where does this go? Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna go over here then. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's a, that's quite a long ways. Uh, uh, okay, we did it. We got it. Nicely done. All right, good. Let's get the heck out of this area. Gotta go find some help. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I've I've worn waders in uh, in water before, and uh, uh, they they didn't disappear. You didn't hear a ticking clock that made them disappear? No, no I did not. Uh, you, you must have gotten the good ones then. Yeah, I guess. See, these we didn't even pay for these ones. Up here? Oh, running shoes. Oh, okay. Uh, this unlocks something then. Hey, Wendigo. I'm doing well. How are you? That opens up the castle over there. I got 15 seconds to get to it. You just so happened to uh, have something to help you do it. Where is the yeah. entrance? Is it this? Uh, that might be it. Wait, is that? Am I, I think I went the wrong place. That is the wrong place. That is not. Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> I thought maybe I could sprint across there to get to. No. <laughs> Big oak door is very tough. Stupid bears not fast enough. <laughs> I want to say, <laughs> John Wu. I want to say I was a dumb kid, but I was definitely boring. I was the one. One in the group who would say, "Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea," but instead of caving to peer pressure, I would just go home. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 definitely the boring kid thing to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, I I did some particularly dumb stuff in the uh, in the Marine Corps when I was uh, junior enlisted that uh, I, I should have probably gotten in trouble for, but I I have a very good nose for uh, how to know, get out staying of trouble. Out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Honorable Cephalopod, Cephalopod says, I was an evil, manipulative kid. I grew up in, into a depressive adult, so progress? I mean... I mean... Uh, if, uh... Yeah? I mean, social progress, I suppose. Okay, so that's where I need to go. Which means I'll come over here and... Oh, the screws are pretty far away, actually. Dang, how am I gonna do this? The shoes are way over here. I'm trying to figure this little puzzle out. It's, it's kind of a puzzle platform. Okay, so I grab those shoes and I'll cut through this way. Yeah, there we go, and then I'll go straight that way. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the puzzle aspect of this kind of stuff is uh, something that I really loved about uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah. I just think that was such a phenomenal game. Just Can't wait for the new COD event tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoy. I didn't even know there was a new event, because I don't play Call of Duty. Alright, here we are. We finally made it. I think this is technically the boss area. Each each level has a boss, but I don't think the, the boss in this area is that big a deal, actually. I think it's like technically a boss, but it's not really a boss. Armor Cephalopod says that I'm just like Zack on his medication. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, maybe? I mean... <laughs> Think PT, but in a bigger scale. Mozart plays his organ with ease. But can you follow him on the keys? Everything rhymes in this game, apparently. This is a pretty easy. Like, for the boss battle of the levels, this is pretty easy. Simon says? Yeah. Freaking boss. And you don't have to wait for him to finish. You can just do it right after him. So it's pretty easy. Black key right there. Great band. <laughs> touch! Oh, he touched me! I'm putting put myself right in the... In. Yeah, oh. Neuropsych was one of the, uh, one of the more interesting courses I think I took. Hardest boss in the game. Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Hooray! <laughs> so to have a chance against the bear in the long dark, you need to bring a piano. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually playing the Long Dark uh, earlier today. I think I mentioned that. Um, 
and I was playing it on Switch, and I had a, uh, a bear charge me, and uh, <laughs> last second I just blasted it right in the face. Oh my. So, it's a pretty good move. Cool. Extra honeycomb piece. No. That's right, get out of here, bonehead. There's some eggs over here. I like this model token. The thing that I... Okay, so someone was talking the last time I was playing this game. They said Banjo-Tooie, the sequel to this game, was better. And I said, I don't know. I think this game is better. But I actually played Banjo-Tooie a little bit earlier today. There was Banjo Trophy behind the pipes. Yeah, I saw that, but that's not a collectible. It's an extra life. I ignored that. I, tr I, I played a little bit of Banjo-Tooie today, and I gotta say, the, c the camera controls are way better in that game. Yeah, a little more refined. Yeah, because it, cause it actually slings around slowly. In this game, it just kind of jerks... But here... I, if I touch it a little bit, just a little bit. It jerked around all that much, and I can't line myself up straight. Jeez. So if I go into manual first-person view and then back out, even still. So I gotta try this awkward 37-degree angle walking without falling well, to my death. Don't you know, Mike, that's what the uh, C keys on the new Nintendo 64 controller are for? Yes. For generally reserved for adjusting the camera. That is what they are for, yes! That's, that's, that's what I'm pressing! And okay, that puts that right there. That's good. So that's another thing I can go get later. Wait. Oh, I fell. Jeez. You know, for for all the effort that this witch has put into creating this world, you would think that she could just do some hocus pocus that would just give her what she wanted. Yeah. She she actually has like some kind of metal machine. <laughs> Yeah, before you leave the day, after we finish this, I'll uh, I'll show you the ending of the game. Because if you say if you save and quit, it'll just show you the bad ending of the game as if you'd given up. Okay. So I'll show you that. All right. So I'm Man, trying to get back. Really pissed off. Yeah, I'm trying to get back that flight pad because I think there still might be a few more secrets in this area. The witch ending is better because she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she actually is. Kind of surprising. It's not one of those weird fetishy characters that like people obsess about, like Bowsette. Oh god. <laughs> uh, yes, I am married, and uh, my wife Sorry, is, ladies, uh, he's taken. she is uh, doing all right. Work is uh, a lot of work for her right now. Mm -hmm. So she teaches, and it's, uh, you know, folks, thank your teachers. Seriously, they don't really get time off in the summers. Uh, okay, so there's some notes on these pews I can grab. Aside from that, I think I'm actually good. Alright, yeah, just some notes. Mike, stop talking. I want to hear Kirk's sexy voice. <laughs> That's fair <laughs> enough. He does have quite a soothing voice. A soothing I, baritone. I, I, honestly, I appreciate that, coming from strangers I've never oh, met before. Um, Who's hiding the walls for me? Who's hiding the walls? It's cheating! <laughs> I hate my voice uh, when I hear recordings of it, so... Glad y'all enjoy it. I think it's pretty common to hate your own voice. Huh? Come on, get up there, you idiot! You dumb bear, you're gonna get killed by a ghost! Alright, fine, Feather. Feather time it is. Last Feather. Looking back on it, I feel sorry for my teacher when she first got my class by the end of the year. She had to re-dye her hair and <laughs> became half... <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she got white hairs from dealing oh, yeah. with you. Oh yeah. Couldn't be a teacher. Have to put up with a bunch of uh, kids' BS and not being able to just smack the shit out of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. So the what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, like kids, um, if you if you give a shit about them as a teacher, and I've I've been a substitute teacher. Um, you know, <laughs> you just can't fart an egg in this properly. I've been a substitute teacher um, for special education as well as gen ed, and I've also, of course, been their uh, social worker too. So I've I've kind of come at it from all angles, and uh, I have to say, like, I really do love working with kids. Uh, they honestly, they're a lot of fun. It's the parents, uh, nine times out of ten, <laughs> who can be just insufferable uh, you know you yeah. got uh, uh, just just like a whole menagerie of things one of my first students that I ever had a problem with when I was on my own as a school social worker um, 
This kid's raising hell and basically is just like having their run of the school. And essentially, I got blamed for it. And the, the mom is just like yelling at me about like, what did you do? Like, no, no, you just coddle your freaking kid and don't follow through on discipline. Mm. And discipline does not have to be at all like any sort of corporal punishment. You know, there's uh, just some basic discipline and, and be fine. You're generally not supposed to do that. Um, and in fact, for any of y'all, just, just some parenting tips because, uh, you know, I've been effectively like a professional parent of uh, other people's you know, kids. Other people's kids 30 at a time. Um, reserve corporal punishment for something that reflects an immediate danger to a child's life. So like run out into the middle of traffic. Yes, yes. So pretty much any and all spanking and corporal punishment should really be done by the time uh, by the time they're like six or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's only for something like you know. And you never you never hit your kid out of kid anger. out of anger. No. Yep. So I was the recipient of that. <laughs> it's not good. Doesn't doesn't help. Uh, doesn't help your kid grow up. I gotta navigate to this thing. Oh yeah, I had a. Uh... Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer some questions here. Yeah, sure, go for it. Um, I mean, that's what we're here, right? Yeah. Talk to uh, people. Looking back you. on it, I'm thankful for my teachers at the time. I didn't know how important uh, what they taught us was. Yeah, I uh, I I had a personally, I had a terrible education. Uh, you know, I, I don't believe in uh, Christian schools. I don't believe they're a good thing. Private schools in general. Uh, oh, yeah, no. You know, now that I've worked in the public, public school system, uh, I was also in a charter school for a little bit. And I had to uh, make up for a lot of lost time in college. I'll tell you that much. There are so, there's so many times. So much of my youth was spent memorizing Bible verses. Yeah. Yeah, and it... You know, we, we even can, if you're religious, that's a terrible use of time. It is, it is, and homeschooling is even worse. But uh, moving on, next question, because I, I I could go off on a diatribe for quite a while. I'm sure you could. Yeah, yeah. Um, how many parents refuse to believe their precious little child would never do anything bad? So, <laughs> I I remember one in particular. This this fat old oaf, just like he he he's like a Wolford Brimley looking dude. <laughs> And uh, his son, generally mild-mannered, quiet, soft-spoken, not really doing much of anything to get in trouble. I never met the kid before, but uh, this school district, this is, this is part of why I left this school. Um, I actually had to take care of discipline as a school social worker. They had me pulling double duty as the assistant principal. Hmm. So that's part of why I resigned. <laughs> It's absolute bullshit. That should never happen. But so, kids harassing this soft-spoken kid. He finally had had enough, and he takes a Rubik's cube, like it's damn brass knuckles, and just like punches a kid right in the teeth um, with with a Rubik's cube. Mm -hmm. And this uh, <laughs> this dad shows up. He's livid because I've suspended his son, mm. and. He wants. He he immediately is calling. Uh, calling. Calling like, the for super, your resignation. Oh, he's calling the superintendent How and dare shit you. and the uh, and the principal. And uh, it was it was kind of funny because when we had a uh, little conference with me, the principal and and the uh, parents, um, I got called away for uh, for some crisis or something. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, a lot of times. Um, I will I will wear a uh, shemag. A uh, little backstory on that. Um, what is a shemag? I don't think I shemag is. Uh, it it's also known as a uh, kiafa. It is a uh, piece of uh, Palestinian clothing. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like the uh, neck scarf that you would see guys wear, like usually black and tan colors. Okay. Uh, wear wear that when they're like an up gun. You know, keep keep dust out of their clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wear a white one sometimes, uh, just generally showing some solidarity with the people of uh, 
uh, occupied Palestine. Um, and also, for me, it's personally a reminder of, you know, we used to wear these things out in Iraq, and I really, you know, don't want any part of the type of life that I was leading. I'm trying to help people build their lives. Mm -hmm. So I'd wear this shemag, right? And oh, sorry to interrupt your story. I'm going to just talk to a toilet here. <laughs> Gurgle, bear is too fat to fit in my mouth. Okay, bye. I'll try again later. <laughs> Dan ah, took it all the way. way to the Super Nintendo. Yeah, he did. He did. So the thing is, I got called away for a Crisis because I was like the one-man Crisis response team. And as I step out, um, the uh, the dad starts talking to the principal and saying, "You know, I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm trying to be understanding, but I, I'm prejudiced against those types." Those, those types! Yeah, so this uh, this guy, uh, he thought I was gay, basically. He thought you were Cause, gay because you yeah, were wearing a shemag? Yeah, because I'm, wear, I'm wearing a scarf, you know? Oh, and it's just like, dude... Of all the things. <laughs> yeah. I thought you, so I thought, stupid. I thought you were going to say he was, like, prejudiced against... Oh, prejudiced against people that are of different, like, nationalities. I don't like those yeah. Afghanis. Yeah. But no, he's like, oh, he's wearing I, a I, I am, scarf. He must be one of them gays. Yeah, I am very clearly white. Um, <laughs> and fuck you if you're a bigot. Like, I... Like, yeah. fuck him all around. So... <laughs> His his kid was nice enough. Luckily, I got to, got to have some good interactions with the kiddo, and hopefully left a good impression that uh, you know, hey, you know what, you don't have to be a shithead like your dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm missing. Okay, so yeah, that was a long little diatribe there. I'm missing. Um, hold on, I'm missing four puzzle pieces and a couple of notes. I know one of those notes is a Jinjo, but where yeah. are the other three? Mike, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud here. I need, to, I know I need to walk on top of. I wait, always wait. answer people when they're thinking out loud. Sorry. Uh, so let's see here. I'm gonna scroll back up. Um, let's see here. Be a teacher. Yeah. Um, but young kids, young kids are fun. I've also, I've also worked with high school kids, middle school. Middle school is uh, some of my favorites, um, but I tend to kind of uh, talk at a bit higher level, so I, I get along really well with high school kids, too. Um, hmm. So, yeah, kudos to my wife. Oh, shit, sorry. Nope, okay. Sorry, well, Mike, I clicked. You clicked. You clicked. You done did a click. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, kudos to my wife. She, uh, she does special education uh, with uh, littles, and... Uh, they are a riot. Like, the little kiddos are awesome. They're hilarious. Uh, one time, I was actually substitute teaching a kindergarten class, and <laughs> they they saw that I had a ring on. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like, uh, what's that ring for? And I'm like, well, this is my wedding ring. And, wait, you're married? And I'm like, yeah, I'm married to... And I told, I told them uh, my, what they my knew wife. my wife as. Uh, down the hall, and uh, they start singing the, uh, uh, you know, so and so and so and so sitting in a tree. K I S S. <laughs> Except none of these little, little, uh, you know, uh, kindergartners. They they can't they can't spell, so they're just ra <laughs> saying random, letters. random letters and stuff. It was hilarious, and the whole classroom broke out singing this to me, and then it just turns into this jumble of letters. It was so cute. Um, okay, so I hold on for a second. I I need to turn into a pumpkin, and then come into this area so I can go up to this rose field, and then traverse this rose field to go over there. Okay. Quite a lot going on around here. Oh, damn. Jamie Collins here. Roman Catholic school with ADHD. Not fun. Yeah, it wasn't fun for me in uh, evangelical uh, Christian school, uh, Protestant school either. Um, essentially, I just got stuffed into like a holding cell for one hour of the day. Jeez. Oh, yeah, uh, the special education was severely lacking, which is, uh, you know, now having worked in special education, I know it's uh, legit. What's this? Uh, how many times do I have the urge to yell Khan? Uh, zero. I don't think about my name very often. <laughs> the novelty wore off. <laughs> Everyone else can make that joke anyway. Yep. Go for it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, so Jamie Collins, uh, super, super, uh, superintendent 
is the uh, he's like the head honcho of the um, of the school district who works under the school board. It's a very like uh, uh, in America, it's a very corporatic type of uh, arrangement, basically. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go get this again as slow as I can, though. All as, right, as slow as possible. See if I can get it. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you fat ass. <laughs> Dang. How do I do this? I think I have to come through the... Oh, it's the fireplace. I have to come to the fireplace, I think. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I have to, oh, I have to drop down the chimney. I'll pull a Santa Claus. Yeah, uh, I remember okay, now. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and catch up here. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Oh shit. Ooh, thank you for those gifted sub nachos. I stream random crap. Uh, says they were suspected of uh, being a potential, potential school shooter at one point. Thank you God. for the sub, Laurel eh? Sorry, I, I didn't see all this because Kirk was scrolling, but yeah, thank you. Yep. He also gets invited to eat steamed hams, but no watching Aurora Bordelaises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was, uh, I had, I had, like, classmates in high school that thought I was gonna be a school shooter because I was actually, like, goth. You were pretty goth. You, you were yeah. a lot of dark clothing. Yeah, and it was just, like, it was just my self-expression. They, they, I don't know. Oh, hey, yo. Somebody, hello, fellow. Um, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, Kirk and his wife sitting in tree. AKJ24. AK47, JJG. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was it was really adorable. It was uh, it was one of the one of the better experiences I've had. It was uh, honestly for substitute teaching, uh, I'd say kindergarten, first grade, second grade, love them, absolutely love them. They're a riot. Uh, I had a uh, first grader that I was uh, mentoring, uh, a young kiddo who uh, clearly. Uh, is on the autism spectrum. Thank you for the and, raid, uh, Mimi. And uh, it, it was it was kind of funny because uh, I would sit and read with him, and he wanted to read about like dinosaurs and gorillas and stuff like that. And he's like, "Wait, what if you mixed a gorilla with a um, toucan or something like that?" <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, "Well, you know what, buddy? That does not exist." I, I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist. So he goes, wait a minute. Then I'm the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little freaking shaver, like six, maybe seven years old. We're amazing. Thank you, Mimi. I hope you had a good stream. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the rain. Uh, what do I think are the biggest flaws in the school system? Oh. Um, so um, I don't know how many uh, American viewers we've got, but... Um, as far as the American school system goes, uh, we are teaching towards tests. We are not teaching a curriculum so much as uh, Pearson, a major corporation, uh, says like, hey, uh, state representative, you're going to, uh, uh, we'll give you a kickback if you proceed to, uh, you know, have this be the standard test for school age children. Grunty's gold, how it's shown. She'll be mad, now it's gone. Yes, I'm mad, my boot I'll put up your useless spooky boot. <laughs> nice, nice. The rhyming is not exactly perfect. Yeah, so essentially what, uh, what happens is they're just like, hey, you know, uh, you'll get these kickbacks if you make this the state standard and it's uh, Pearson, uh, Hawthorne, something or another. There's a few different major testing, testing companies. Pearson, I think, is one of the largest ones. I think people who aren't even in education are probably quite familiar with it. Um, you know, they do psychological tests and stuff like that, uh, testing materials. You know, they, they've got some decent stuff, um, but the thing is, just rope memorization. You know, the, yeah. the like critical discussions on things and uh, you know critical thinking skills aren't really exercised, particularly when it comes to social studies. Thank you for the sub, Mimi, Mia. Thank you. Yeah, like uh, like George Washington. He was a slave-owning piece of shit. He was actually a pretty boring guy. Um, 
you know, and stuff like that. Instead, we learn uh, rote memorization of myths and fables for social studies. Yeah. You know, um, I always used to, you know, yeah. think about that passively. Like, oh, yeah, well, he was he was a, he was the founder of the country, but he was a slaver. But then again, so many people back then were slavers, so you have to judge it by his time. But yeah. what about that stuff about freeing the, save, the slaves? Like, he was supposed to free the slaves after his death, but then after he died, he didn't actually do it? Yep. None of these bastards ever did. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, along with that, I anyway, think... Anyway, uh, uh, sorry, I'm gonna uh, do oh, a little transformation here. Hey, Mike. Howdy. I messed up my shepherd spy. That's okay. You need a pumpkin for that pie? Mumbo, proud of pumpkin spell. Makes a good soup. I'm a pumpkin are you, now. Are you gonna go in the toilet now? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah... Yeah, so apparently uh, we got uh, Rogue Dundane. Rogue Dundane, yeah. Yeah, uh, down in uh, Australia. Yeah, they're teaching to test too. It's all it's all corporate control. Another major thing that they're doing is uh, they're trying to turn most uh, public school systems into charter schools, which are literally just businesses. Mm -hmm. That's all they are. And when you have a business, you have to pay your shareholders because they're publicly traded companies. Now, how do you make more profit? Oh, that's right. You cut costs yeah. by any means possible. Uh, yep. So it's a vastly inferior form of education. Um, and the kids suffer for it. You know, I personally suffered for it. Um, let's see here. I think one good thing, um, I, I am no fan of the uh, Obama administration, uh, but uh, one halfway decent thing that they did was... Uh, the thing that people rally against. Um, you had to pick and, one, huh? Uh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> one thing as far as education One goes, good thing that he did that people hate, yes. Yeah, that, that a lot of people who don't understand education hate is uh, core curriculum. Or common core, excuse me. Uh, and that really all it boils down to is, hey, you know what? Across the country, we're all going to have the same standards as far as mathematics, English proficiency, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just basic stuff. And some of those are thinking about numbers in different terms. I'm sure everyone here has seen the uh, has seen the meme of like, oh yeah, you know, what's forty two plus unicorn equals you know I've, like I've never seen that one, no. Uh, if, if I I've seen it circle circle around in uh, some things. Probably education uh, circles. Yeah, but uh, it does it doesn't equal this because pi or some stupid shit like that. And it's it's a made up parody of uh, you know people who are mocking the Common Core because the Common Core curriculum calls on uh, students to think about numbers in differing terms other than like a one-to-one -one correspondence. I could really get into this, yeah, but... She, I'm already a little Alexa, bit lost. Yeah, Alexa's a lot better uh, versed in it um, because, uh, you know, being a... Your wife. Yeah. 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 Uh, being an educator, you have to really get into the weeds of that. But um, essentially, thinking about numbers in different terms and how to manipulate them in your mind. It's a good, healthy exercise that really kind of expands the way you think about things. And a lot of people hate it. Now, uh, it, it was, it's actually pretty, pretty good. So. Uh, sorry, everybody. I'm kind of lost right now, kind of uh, trying to figure my way through the hedge maze, trying to find the secret hole that I can't even see, really. I know it's in here. I gotta yep. find it. Um, so, yeah, funding is another thing, basically, uh, Poor, the poorer the district in America, the uh, less funding they get because uh, tax dollars go directly to it and it's not like one big lump sum where it gets all spread around. Um, so, yeah, essentially this whole idea of, uh, you know, we're, a lot of people jump on the idea of like, oh, hey, I'm going to vote for so-and-so at polls because... Uh, they're a good business person. They know how to run a business. You can't run a public service like a fucking business! I'm sorry. How do you really feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's disgusting. A public service should never be run as a business because a business draws profit. You know, and every time you come over to stream with me, it yeah. always turns into a big rant. I, it does. It does. I, I'm pretty. I'm, pretty I'm glad heated. you feel uncomfortable enough to just relax and let your hair down. But yeah, yeah, my, I, I my hair I'm is kind literally. Of, I am down, kind of so. concerned you're a little too wrapped up in it. Like, 
You gotta take a step back, cause oh god, uh, I I never take a breath from this. Yeah, Mike. I know, man. Sorry. <laughs> Not just with me. I mean, like for your own mental health. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult to do, but you gotta take yourself out of the equation of things that you can't you can't fix this because it's it's out of your control. You can only do so much, so you can't obsess over it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, I generally try to spread some uh, spread some awareness about these types of things. Is it, uh, unless you got a kid going through it and you uh, run up against some issues with it, yeah, it's kind of on the back burner. But. I don't know how many people that are watching this are gonna have a kid. I don't know. Yeah. Oh man. So, I'm not uh, exactly I'm, lost, but I'm trying to figure out. Oh man. I'm lost at this point. <laughs> okay, what I need to do is get on top of this house so I can go through a pipe. But to do that, I need to get on top of this hedge maze and not fall off this time. How do I get back well, why in Why don't there? you just not fall off, Mike? If I hadn't fallen off the first time, I'd be fine. See, I need to go... Yes. See, there's a ramp right over there. It's easy. Just don't fall off, Mike. I need to... Oh, wait. Is that... I think you were over there. I might have been. Yeah. I'm going to try again. Yeah, I think you crawl through a little tunnel. Okay, so I, I, I go off on my diatribe, but uh, let's, uh, you know, scroll through. There we go. You're get right. Get to some, uh, get some chat here. Back in the days of MySpace, I made a page dedicated to trashing the administration of the school and calling out their stupidity. <laughs> when they couldn't prove it was me, they printed off a copy of my profile and gave it to my dad, claiming that I was suicidal. My dad <laughs> laughed his ass off after their pettiness and encouraged me to keep the page going. Yeah, that's that's the thing too, like how often there's just the stupid, uh, like school boards are made of like, some of the most petty bitches in the local community who are just in it for some clout. Mm. So, um... That's not it. Yeah. I, I think more direct democratic control would probably be a better thing. But, uh... Let's see here. Zappy Man 684 Okay, I'll give a story to when I was in 8th grade. Me and the teacher despise each other each other one day I was in a different class then I got called to the principal's office the principal told me to sit down and he sat down next to me after he sat down he sniffed me <laughs> sniffed then you. he said I was okay to leave you smell like I a tried, good student but I tried asking what the heck was going on he said something like just go nothing to worry about I found out through the other students and the teacher I can't go along with apparently I stunk of weed <laughs> oh that's I, that's what he said. Uh, why are you sniffing that child? Oh, he smells like yeah. drugs. Yeah, like uh, I'm not a pervert. That's, that's, that's kind of weird. I, I've had to do some uh, kid sniff tests before too, um, which I've actually I confiscated. Probably I, I had to because you know I lose my job. I I would much prefer to just hand it back to the uh, dad, but he had like a med card, mm -hmm. and I had to take like a sandwich baggie like almost packed full the teacher's of name weed. joe biden <laughs> teacher's name joe biden. <laughs> the um, teacher's name john cena right <laughs> um so had to had to take this weed and bring it to the uh bring it to the principal and uh you know the liaison officer had to come and uh confiscate it and stuff like that and yeah kind of sucks but uh also Having to do sniff tests for middle schoolers because uh, they forgot to put on their deodorant. <laughs> oh, that kind of sniff test. Yep. Okay, I ho I'm hoping this is how I'm supposed to do it. I think I'm supposed to hop through from here. I'm, I'm hoping I'm right. Oh, Lord. I, ho I hope I'm not going to screw this jump up. I hope you got this. Right now, I'm just kind of inching. I'm like, it's look, look at it. It looks like I should be able to jump this, right? Uh, Fuck! No. Oh! <laughs> Where the hell am I supposed yeah, to do Jamie this? Yeah, Jamie Collins, uh, Churchill was a fucking... He's he's in hell. I'm comfortable saying that. <laughs> oh, man. Mumbo, turn me back. Can you turn me into a bigger pumpkin? This is not working for me. I'm struggling. I'm in Struggle <laughs> City. How are we going to appease, appease uh, the government shareholders if you don't run it as a corporation? <laughs> yeah, uh, shout out to the biggest... Uh, Biggest winners of the Afghanistan war, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, you know, General Dynamics. How many billions did you make being a soldier, Kirk? <laughs> none uh, of it? You raked in none of it? None of it. <laughs> mm. uh, oh, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. What is that? Avon? Avon. I've been okay. saying Avon. Avon. Okay, yeah, Avon. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you want to get the recipe for my uh, dish, it's uh, simple. Just throw a shit ton of... 
uh, vegetables into some hot water. Um, you know, depending on how, how dense they are or whatnot, uh, you know, leave them in for longer or shorter. Uh, I had broccoli, eggplant, um, uh, what was it, a sweet potato, regular potato, some okra. Um, yeah, I think that was about it. Basically just uh, parboil them briefly. And uh, then I ground up some cumin um, and some brown mustard seeds. And I mashed it into a paste with some garlic and ginger. Um, then I fried up some uh, uh, some onion, some tomato, and uh, a jalapeno. Started to sweat that off in the pan a little bit with some oil. And I went and uh, threw, the, uh, threw the spice mixture in. Um, pour some coconut milk in, a little bit of kefir. You can use... Uh, some plain yogurt if you want, then start to put the vegetables in and let it simmer for a while. So, uh, actually, this is probably the most, uh, people were asking me a while ago what the worst level in this game is, and a lot yeah, of people say, I, Rusty Bucket Bay is the worst level, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> people, people ask me questions, and I just start word vomiting. This no. is just, you know, this is, uh, just this, my nature. This has to be it! I don't think it's it, Mike. Like this, this, this right here, this dead ends right here. Yeah, but have you tried something else? <laughs> I, I am. This is the other thing I've tried. I've tried to. Try, I've, I've been going along the so, hedge maze, but that's not how it works. Uh, Avon, uh, if you want the uh, the channel is Ethan uh, Schlebowski. Schlebowski. C H L E B O W S K I. Uh, vegetable korma, spelled K O R M A. This yeah. has to be the jump. So, this absolutely channel. has to be it. Because I see no other it's, options. It's, like, perhaps the option is... No. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I should... Oh! Oh, bees! No! I got yeah, chased I... off the hedge by bees! <laughs> what the fuck? I do rant about a wide range of things. God damn it! How am I supposed to get up here? Um, I, I've... Hey, here's some sound advice from, I, uh... I, I wish I could see the advice, Rogue, but you've scrolled Rogue so Dunnigan. far. Rogue Dunnigan says, uh, just be better, Mike. There might actually be advice further down, but you've scrolled to ten minutes ago, so I have no Sorry, idea. Sorry, I'm a very slow reader. Uh, I actually would like to thank my, uh, Christian schooling for that. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> go the other way when I go up the ramp? I've, I've gone both ways. Bam, chicka, bam, wow. Oh, all right. Okay, I've got the best question. Third time is the charm. We all know Mike and Zach's answer, but Kirk, have you ever followed through? Ha 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 ha, be advice, ha 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 ha, ha get it, calls be e -es. Not the bees! No, not the bees! Not the bees! Uh, have I ever followed through what? I have no idea what they're referring to, honestly. Yeah, that channel and uh, the Pro Home Cooks channel. Uh, along with uh, watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay, is uh, I'm I'm not fast. Oh but, my God! Uh, I'm quite a chef. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Wait, you? <laughs> I told you just look. I didn't look have to do the, the hedge base at all. I could have <laughs> just done this. Why did I do it? Nice, nice. What? What the hell? You're not you're not even supposed to do that hedge base. Why did I? Why did I distinctly remember doing it as a child? <laughs> no, there, that has hey, to be how you do it. Hey, uh, Wendigo, what's what's your best question? Have I followed through what? Hello, toilet. Happy landings, little one. Flush. Oh. <laughs> Kirk, have you ever farted and shat yourself? Uh, Zach says yes many times, and Mike says no, but it's time to add your answer to the scrolls. Okay. Um, hold on. Mike, can you pause it? I will after I've gotten this jiggy, yes. Okay, all right. I think we need to do a poll. Have I ever shat myself? <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Manage poll. Manage poll, all right. Oh, you mean they're guessing. Ever, yeah. I thought you were trying to pull the audience. Hey, audience, have you ever shat yourself in public? There, has Kirk all ever right. sharted himself? There you go. <laughs> He's doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, somebody put shit in my pants. Somebody stop him. He can't keep getting away with it. I love that comic. <laughs> this guy's out on a hot date and he's, he gets the rumblies, starts getting the bubble guts and he shits himself. Oh, shit. And everyone in the restaurant starts to notice. 
This dude's like, oh my God. It's like, oh my God, somebody put shit in my pants and he runs off. <laughs> okay. They overwhelmingly believe you have at least once time shattered okay, yourself. Okay, so only three people believe in my, uh, believe in my bowel. You believe in your <laughs> believe underpants in my virginity. <laughs> I have shat myself, uh, I think, three times. Uh, you popped life. your brown oh, sorry, cherry. Sorry. Yes. Yes. All right, scroll All right. down there. We got, we got to put a new poll up, though. It's uh, a fucking tie. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, three times. So many you. times is correct. Yep. They're going to ask them if, ever, if they've ever shatted themselves. Yep. Just, just to kind of pull get, the community Get engaged. Here. Yeah, yeah. What's your best I shat my pants story? Tell us in the comments. You ever take your wedding ring off? Like the shower and stuff? I take it off occasionally, like if my fingers are swollen. But, yeah, I'm uh, looking at it right now, it looks like it's on pretty dang tight. Yeah, I've I've put on some weight. So the poll is, have you ever sharted yourself? Do you have yeah. to use soap to take it off? Because otherwise there's no um, way to get it off. Yeah, pretty much either that or because it's a tungsten carbide one, I would have to, uh, if I had to get it off, like, uh, by breaking it, I would have to put it in a vice until it's shattered. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Which is kind of the nice part because I do work on, work on my own cars and stuff and I, uh, you know, I'm a very hands-on DIY type of person. So, uh, you know, you can't get it bent where it just like pinches off blood circulation to your finger. Mm-hmm. You know, if you get something that falls on it that's strong enough to break it, it'll just break apart and you can hopefully retrieve your finger versus having it clamped. Yeah, that's that plays into the bigger picture of even if I were married, I don't think I'd wear a ring because I, I don't know. Maybe just paranoid about that getting caught on things. Yeah, it's pretty low profile. It doesn't really do much. All right. So that's why I said paranoid because it's not like that to happen. All right. All right. We got- <laughs> <laughs> a significant amount of people are doing it right now. <laughs> here. Yep. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all! Y'all get some y'all oh, some nasty that's, motherfuckers. That's, that's, that's nasty. You gross. That's you just need, nasty. Y'all need Jesus. Only seventeen percent haven't shat themselves. All right, cool. Now we know a little bit about each other, and uh, yeah, it's it's been nice getting to know you, chat. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, yeah, they. Uh, New new kind of trend right now is uh, people wearing uh, silicone uh, wedding bands, you know, completely flexible. I can't believe you went in there! <laughs> now wash your hands, you filthy pumpkin! <laughs> Don't forget to wash your derriere! <laughs> 17 people haven't shat themselves and 17 people are lying! New trend, shit yourself. And there's the final note. All right, we got there all the notes. Go. Apparently, I am missing some. Uh, not, not. That's not the final note. It's the final jigsaw piece. I'm apparently still missing notes, though, which is surprising. Yeah. Yep. Silicone wedding band. I know a few people who wear those. But it's still a metal. It's still metal, right? Or is no, it like a? No, it's silicone. Like like a rubber. Flex, flexible rubber. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of nerf rubber. Hard to put a jewel in that, then, huh? No, you just don't have a jewel. Yeah. Just a, just a band. Yeah, so it's just a, ba- it's a wedding band. It's a silly mm-hmm. band. Yeah, I knew a guy that I. Uh, that actually seems was... like a, a well, a better idea. Yeah. Especially for uh, like active men that might get their hands caught on something. Well, I can tell you firsthand um, that um, I actually worked in jewelry for a while. <laughs> Funny enough, I've had a wide range of experiences in life. I worked for yeah. none other than K Jewelers. Folks, don't ever buy anything from K Jewelers. Or Cheers any jeweler. Uh, if you do, if you do buy anything from a jeweler, find a local jeweler, a local family-owned business. You'll get much better stuff. Anyway, so uh, I have actually cut wedding bands off of people's hands before. Have you? And, uh, it's a common problem, huh? Um, I only did it twice. Yep. Still and pretty never, common enough for yeah, me. And I never, I had never seen someone. Uh, well, that's out of like thousands of people. Um, all right, ninety-one notes is enough. I'm not gonna fret about those last nine. I'm getting out of all here. Right, all right. And uh, yeah, I've never seen one that came back shattered from a guy getting uh, his hand caught and stuff. I mean, no, Mike. How how often how often are you getting your hands stuck in shit? Not I, right now. I not very often because I don't do much. But um, not, I I don't get my hands caught. I don't get my hands caught on anything like. 
Yeah, what are you worried about? Well, I don't get my hands caught on things because I don't wear jewelry on my hands that get caught on things. Alright, alright. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do a little extra thing here, hopefully I don't die. This is gonna be a little risky here. Yeah, so, uh... Zappy Man, um, actually, the way that uh, you cut off a wedding band, it's it looks a lot like a can opener, uh, just like a little different arrangement. It's got like a little spoon that kind of scoops up underneath the uh, ring, between the ring and the uh, finger, and then the uh, little part that you manually crank like a uh, can opener, uh, once, you, once you pitch it down, it looks like a little micro saw blade, and you literally just grind and cut your way through the gold. Look what I found, Kirk! Hey! Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has rotting fish hanging from the ceiling! Okay. <laughs> she also has a loogie bush growing in a pot beside her bed. Oh God. Filthy old bag! <laughs> I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me gasp for oxygen. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. <laughs> what the oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up. Yeah, that's that's her sister. She likes to shit talk her all sister. Alright, alright. Um so I want I wanna come back to the uh loogie bath. The loogie bush? But, um <laughs> Jamie Collins, hey, I, I'm really glad that you're joining us tonight, my friend, uh, and that uh, we're brightening up your day. You know, I, I hear you, I feel you. It's it's a shit world right now. The world's fucking on fire. <laughs> so it's it's. You know. I have found Gruntilda's missing spell book. Mm. She's and now that's gonna give me a cheat. We love cheats. Please give us the spells. Only one spell I can tell. Enter the code Red Feathers on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you, it will. So I get, I can carry double the amount of feathers. That's uh, it. Seems sus. Uh, it's a talking book. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't take advice from talking books. You no. Will. Hell no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the uh, the the loogie thing. That Just is, push uh, a string under the ring and wrap the other end tightly around the finger. Pull the end under the ring back over the portion you wrapped around the finger. Yeah, this uh, this particular case, uh, that could not happen. Period. It's just too tight. Yeah, way too tight. Hands, like, really swollen. And it was actually swelling even more because the ring was uh, effectively tightening down more. Yeah, clamping it down, causing swelling. Yep. Um... So, yeah, the, uh, the, the loogie, whatever, suddenly made me flash back to a, uh, to a mutual friend that we had in high school. Oh, yeah? Did they do something with a loogie that I wasn't aware of? No, but, uh, similar substance from the body. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's so gross. So, um, except it wasn't in a bin. Um, you know who I'm talking about? Without saying their name, I don't wanna... I, I don't know if you were there. Oh, but... you're talking about their semen ceiling. Yes, the okay. semen ceiling! Yeah, I don't... I don't... So, uh... <laughs> okay, kids, story time. No, come on! Um, had this, had this, uh, friend that, uh, I, I, I don't talk to this fellow anymore, uh, for obvious reasons, but, uh, they, they go well beyond this. Um, so... This, this guy, he, uh... He's a bit of a real, like, masturbation addict, it seems, um, as, as, you know, young men tend to be. Yeah, some of us <laughs> take it a bit further than others. <laughs> Rogue's like, the fucking what? <laughs> the fair response, honestly. Yeah. The semen ceiling. So you don't solution, have a semen ceiling? Yeah. His solution was when he would, uh, you know, produce his uh, substance... Would be to uh, collect it in his hand. <laughs> Zappy man's out. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna get on up out of here. <laughs> he would take it and he would just chuck it on the ceiling. His goddamn popcorn ceiling of his bedroom over his bed. Did he actually do that? Or did he just say he did that? I ha I saw it with my own eyes. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. Oh, here's we do it. Okay. Here's here's the thing. 
I was initially like we're initially like you do what? Because <laughs> he just he just volunteered this information. Like why the fuck would you? He he had no he had fuck. no sense of uh of like keeping certain things to yourself like yeah. that. <laughs> He's making stalactites. Oh god! <laughs> New pool. Who put ceiling uh, on the ceiling? I'm doing yeah. it right now. So we uh we happened to at one point have grabbed a black light and went into his bedroom. Oh jeez. He thought it was pretty funny. He's laughing like <laughs> like not a nervous laugh. He thought it was pretty funny. Like, We're like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, it was uh, uh I Mike, I think you already failed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try that again. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, it is <laughs> it is worse. Should have had a content warning for that, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> wait, how'd he manage to get the semen up there? That's kind of went despite being a disgusting one. Well, yeah, I you, mean you, it's you throw it up there, not all of it is gonna stick immediately. It's like someone's so, gonna drip back down on your head, right? I I gotta imagine, but it all seemed to be like it. Nailed it! There you go. Yeah, it all seemed to be like one solid like layer of <laughs> craftsmanship on that craftsmanship. select site. Yeah, and you know if you if you ever like look closely at a typical drywall ceiling, it's uh, it's fairly porous. So I think it, the uh, the the substance. Uh, had had enough uh, enough to latch on to. <laughs> that's that's such a gross story. I was more of a cum blanket type of person. I had, there you go. There you I go. Had something complete... something that you can fucking wash? A sock? Yeah. Something? A tissue? Like god damn it, dude. I had completely forgotten about that one. Yep. So you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> For refreshing that memory. Yeah. Yeah, and here we are. Here I am. Oh god, I just realized I'm sharing this story with a bunch of high school students. Yeah, so and now they're we, gonna do it themselves. And we, were, we were in high school at the time. <laughs> so now they know you can do that. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> what have you inspired? Yeah, don't do that. Seriously, or do whatever. Guys. We're not your parents. We don't have to clean your roof ceiling. Whatever. Seriously, do it every day. That's uh, make that's a whole cave. <laughs> they call it a man cave for a reason, right? Oh god, that's not a man cave. Well, it's a cum cave. <laughs> God, freaking stalactites. I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> Damn it. What'd you do? Okay, I need to find Rusty Bucket Bay now. Where is that anyway? This way? No. Okay, that's where I go to Mad Monster Mansion. This is by far and away something that they don't tell you about what the military does to your brain. That's not a kosher story. That's not something you should really share on the internet to, uh, looks like we have 84 viewers yeah. right now. You should not share this with 84 strangers out in the open like that, right? Well, it's not a story that we told about ourselves. We're just telling a story about somebody else. It's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We're still, still talking to somebody still, else. Still, it's, it's, it's gross. It's generally uncouth. But the military breaks your brain of this. It, it breaks your brain and, you know, you, you have no sense of, like, modesty left. Mm -hmm. And, uh... You know, along with that, too, uh, just, like, social graces. I, I, I really, in some ways, I, I I feel like the Marine Corps gave me, like, a, a mild case of uh, autism in certain, uh, in certain social situations where I just do not read the room. Compilations so, of the stories. Ah, uh, God. Well, I can at least come over here and open a different world. I know it's not the next world. The next world is definitely Rusty Bucket Bay. Can I can't remember how to get there? Traumatizing 80 odd people must be a new world record. <laughs> <laughs> that once, maybe. Oh, well, I can't. Okay, I can't unlock this little world yet. Sale today only, spend $15, and I'll add your name to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Compile everybody's name on the ceiling. The, uh, the thing that I mean by that specifically is that the picking up on certain uh, social uh, social graces and being able to understand the way people are the way people feel about uh, like a, a theory of mind essentially a theory of mind excuse me 
like they there's there's certain points where I've caught myself around uh, civilian folk where I'm just like this is not okay for me to be saying this yeah. <laughs> and you know that is uh, quite literally a specific like a specific uh, manifestation of uh, autism for some people so that is not that's not saying that uh, you know these people are lesser than or anything like that I, I know a lot of people who do have autism I take care of I used to take care of kiddos who uh, have it as well so I might do it again soon who yeah. knows yeah so yeah a little off color certainly and okay. that's uh maybe i go this way where, where does this go to no that's that's the entrance to world number four like i'm not gonna lie like i've been so lost in every one of these maps <laughs> they, yeah, the, it all looks the same to me you know that's fair enough if this is the first time seeing it i'm kind of going through things pretty fast because I've, I've already pretty well versed with this place but you're like exploring new things right this is half of what the long dark is right checking out new areas figuring out what's here and so the entrance to world six is over there. Oh, maybe in the mouth? <laughs> what? Phrasing. Maybe in the mouth. Phrasing. Okay. Nope, okay, that's the entrance to the world number seven. <laughs> maybe I'll give it to you in the mouth. Off color is definitely a way off describing that ceiling story. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk to me. The disgusting Gruntilda has rat bagels for breakfast. Then she usually has maggot pie for dinner. Yuck. Oh yeah? And then what? <laughs> Wartbags then finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid. Where am I supposed to be going? I'm completely lost at this point. I know where the entrance for Rossi Bucket Bay is, but I don't know how to get up there. There's gotta be like some kind of pipe I could open or something. Maybe, Mike. Yeah. Have Banjo and Kazooie go and drink, like, water from someplace else, come back in. <laughs> to pee it all out? To pee it all out. <laughs> It'll take a few trips, but... Maybe if I make a stalactite <laughs> big enough... Oh god, don't make me the cum ceiling guy. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I am so turned around. Man, we better not make this into a video, because this is like the most boring stream. Hey, who wants to see me not do anything in the world of Banjo-Kazooie? Well, at least I got the entirety of Mad Monster Mansion done, so we can say I got something done while I... while I wander aimlessly and meander trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of nice watching someone else struggle with a video game other than me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not getting torn apart by wolves. I'm getting killed by fish. Was there something in the Mad Monster world? Like, with the gravestones? There may have been some... I have something... no idea! Yeah. This whole game is, like... Really confusing. A bit of a fever dream, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe if I hadn't started in the middle of the game, if I had shown you the earlier levels, it would have been pretty simple. I'm a simpleton, Mike. There's probably someone who knows exactly what's going on and exactly where I need to go, and they're screaming right now, and it's fair enough. Get, get it. Yeah, there we go! Alright! Alright, here we go. You ready for this? I have a technique that I haven't showed you yet. One of the, okay. one of the most recent techniques I learned. So that snowman that back there was throwing snowballs at me. Yeah? Yeah, he's he's gotta be the key. Bonk! I hit him in the head! That had to be nice. it, right? Wait! Oh, I thought maybe he was standing uh. on a switch. There's nothing here. There's nothing here! Oh, no. The switch to raise the water is in the... Okay, it is that Mad Monster Mansion. Uh. I must have just missed the switch. Alright, so it's gotta be somewhere around here. One of these... One of these, uh, tombstones has to be hiding us just behind it or something, so I... Or, I gotta break this down, maybe? No, that's just decorative. No, wait! Oh, no, no, there, there we go. That's it. Nice. Oh, man, what? I gotta... Oh, I gotta be a pumpkin to use this, don't I? I gotta go become a pumpkin and get in this hole! You gotta be kidding me, I gotta go, I gotta go become a pumpkin. Phrasing. <laughs> I wasn't even afraid... Oh, get in the hole. I, th I think, yeah, Valk yeah, Valkyrie was the one that was saying Banjo-Kazooie was better. And I was adamant that Banjo-Kazooie was b the better of the two games. But I actually paid played a little bit of Banjo-Tooie today. 
And I will say the camera controls are better in that game too. Because in this game, the camera jerks around like this. And in Banjo Tooie, it does not do. You can actually control yeah, the, it. Yeah, this camera sucks. Yeah. I think that's part of what's uh, what's given me. Uh, I, I just like no jerk. direction. Yeah. Kurt, get Mike to play Turok with you. We should play Turok. You, yeah, could be fun. <laughs> Zach missed the comes in. No, yeah. Zach is probably better off not knowing uh, anything about the Zach, ceiling. Zach knows about it. Yeah. Uh, if you if you remember our mutual. Uh, Mutual friend back in uh, back in high school, kind of ish friend who uh, would throw a uh, certain substance on the ceiling when he was done having a good time mm. or a bad time, you know. Let's yeah. not judge. Yeah. <laughs> Go away. You're right. Raise the water level. There you go. There it is. Did that open the level though? It didn't though. How do you open the level? This is the most complicated thing I've ever done in the game. I ever tell you I convinced my history teacher that I was Dutch Irish despite being, you know, <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Sounds like a similar story to the one I got for you, Kirk. <laughs> Remember when you yep. thought I was Mexican? No, no, you thought, Canadian. You thought, you thought I was half Canadian, half Mexican? Yeah. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Mike had me going for probably better part of a decade, yeah. believing that he was that he was uh, actually born in Canada. And yeah, Canadian I, I told you I was half Canadian, half Mexican, and then one day I told you I was joining the military. You asked if it was even possible because I was half Canadian, half Mexican. And I was like, "What? What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, you told me you were half Canadian, half Mexican. Oh yeah, I was lying. I've had enough internet for today. Thanks, Kirk. Do, do a Google remember search when for Kirk that. Wiped his ass on my, when did I wipe my ass on your couch? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, remember we went over to his house, and then we. Oh, is that him, when we locked him out? We locked him out of his house, and you wiped your butt on his couch, and then you guys shot at me with BB guns. <laughs> Plastic oh guns. man, that was a dick. Was, uh, I'm sorry, Zach. Airsoft guns, as it were. Yeah. yeah. God, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I. I really just need to do a blanket apology for anyone who uh, may have known me uh, in my time up to, like, after I, shortly after I got out of the military. <laughs> you forgive him! Oh, so generous of you, Zach. You also forgive him for the time that we appeared pressured you and go up on stage. Oh, God, <laughs> yes! I don't think he's forgotten about that. Oh, have you shared this? Before? Yeah, we. I think we have shared this story, but I don't. I think he hasn't forgiven you for that one. Yeah, I had been watching Red vs. Blue, and Simmons said he was Dutch Irish to Griff, despite him being, you know, Mexican. Uh huh. <laughs> With Kirk. Yeah. So. Have, like, have you, know, you, have you shared have, it with I the stream? Told, I have told this story. You can go ahead and tell it again. Though. Okay, okay. For some reason... Yeah, this is for the graduation that we were doing at high school. Like the final thing we were all going to do together as a high school. Yeah, and this was like in front of all the uh, in front of all the families. Family. It was like an award ceremony, though, yeah. before graduation. The thing is, there's a typo on the program. And Zach is actually listed as one of the class officers. As, as, as with magna cum laude or something. What? Yeah, some some shit like that, and we're we're all looking at him. He's looking at us like, wait, I'm what? What the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's obviously <laughs> a typo. Like we're yeah. all like, it's definitely a typo. And we're all we're all just like, well, dude, I guess I guess you're a class officer. Didn't know that shit, but uh, better get get up there because yep. they all just they called. They just called up. all the magna cum louds up, and now you got to yeah, do it. Some, some shit like that, and. Zach's like, oh, okay, I guess. And he goes up there and he's standing there awkwardly like, what? Like, what the fuck do I do? And <laughs> the class officers are looking at him like, what the fuck is he doing up here? And, <laughs> and like, the uh, the person who, like, the MC or whatever, notices it. And... <laughs> yeah, you remember, yeah, remember what the oh, MC yeah, says? Yeah, yeah. Zach, was, uh, Zach was fighting us on it. And we, like, we... We, we, pure said, no, we made him go you up there. You gotta get up there. Your name's Come on, on it. your name's on there. You yeah, gotta go up there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like you can't be up there because your name's on there. You, be you belong up there. And Zach goes up there. <laughs> I Did I push you into the aisle? <laughs> oh my god. I don't remember that detail. <laughs> oh god. So basically what uh, what happens is, uh, yeah, so there was uh, there was a typo and uh, Zach is not... Uh, 
No, the, is, the, the exact words were, uh, there was a typo, the following people are the actual recipient, recipients of this award, and they list everybody else's name! <laughs> And then it's like, oh my god! I'm everybody god. else that was not mentioned may go sit down. <laughs> and Zach has to do the long walk of shame. Oh my god! <laughs> Zach, do you? Re I. <laughs> and then, and then, as he's walking back, doing the walk of shame. Yes, exactly. And then I said, <laughs> and the attention whore of the year award goes to. <laughs> Right in front of everybody, the whole damn place heard me. <laughs> That's so fuck of. It's such a shitty thing to do. Oh my god. Oh yes, I was terrible. Oh my god. Yes. Oh god, Zach! Pity I'm Zach! So sorry. Pity Zach! He had us as friends. With friends like this, we'd be enemies. <laughs> Holy shit! I was terrible to you. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh god, that's too much. <laughs> You're starting to understand why Zach is the way he is, and we were the nice ones in his life. Oh god, yeah, we were. We were some of the nicer people in that school. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm not gonna do this entire level. I know you want yeah. to start get going, but yeah, yeah I do is... need to get running. <laughs> Ended on a high note, Zach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're older now, and less shitty people. At least we yes. like to think so. Yours a couple of dicks. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, if uh, it makes him, if, you know, to redeem myself, I did help him buy a car. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. So, this, um, this is the... This is considered to be one of the worst levels in the game, but it's actually not that bad, because all the levels are pretty tight. I mean, it's kind of making me depressed The the water has oil everywhere. If you hop into it, you start losing air, even if you're on the surface. Like, you can't breathe in it for very long. You'll lose air while in that gunge! <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Maybe Zack is too grumpy cause he never got the broom out of his ass. <laughs> oh, that story where I shoved the broom up his ass. Oh no. Have you heard that story? You were there, right? No, I don't think I was. No, okay. Uh, one time I shot, tried to shove a broom up Zack's ass. Because I saw it happen in a cartoon. I was like, hey, it was pretty funny that one time th that, that guy shoved the broom up that guy's ass and everyone laughed. I'm gonna do that to Zack. And I, I, I took a broom and I started poking him in the butt. He didn't like it. Understandably so. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Oh, there's a shark in this part of the. There's a sh who puts a shark in the bay. Any anyone else care to share stories about how they were shitty, awful friends kids and friends, <laughs> so we friends. don't feel so bad. Oh, hi. Uh, how do I even get out of and here? And then he didn't talk to you for two years. <laughs> you know what? That might be why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's reasonable. Reasonable. I think there's a hole right there. Oh, there it is. Yep. It's kind of difficult to see, but you're right. And now to get out of the water before I drown. Nah, you're going back. Probably. I can't find. Oh man, I think the nearest ladder is over here. Actually. Panic! Panic time! Panic time! All right, there we go. Damn. So yeah, that is why- uh, that actually is probably why people don't like this level very much, is because the water is so frustrating to be inside. Yeah. Alright, here- I call, I call it the Exxon Valdez. Alright, so we're gonna save here, and we're gonna quit. And then it gives you the bad ending. Alright, let's see the bad ending. It probably wasn't why, I think that happened like one of the later years that we were hanging out. Turn it up, I need full power, Banjo just died in my tower! Yes, you're a good ship. Transformation soon be complete. Mm. Help me, Banjo! I feel all funny! Oh god, the lights! Bear and bird finished. Grunty wins. <laughs> Youth transferred to mistress. Damn. Those N64 dimensions, though. <laughs> hey, she's got the polygons where it counts. <laughs> Oh, you are a mistress. And then, here comes Mumbo to be his simp! Grunty, nice. Come back to Mumbo's skull, yes? And there's my little sister! Oh, no! Banjo. Oh, no! Your sister wants a word with you. Now! 
Uh oh, stinky. <laughs> and then once you finally do rescue her at the end of the game, you just never see her in the sequel. <laughs> no thanks. Ungrateful little girl. Uh, damn shame. I hate to see it. <laughs> Gruntilda is a MILF. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have sipped that. Hold on. Because the opening is actually pretty fun. Alright. How are you going to know when I decide to stream Banjo Kazooie again? Hey, maybe I'll do it Friday. You don't want to miss it? Um, I might do it tomorrow, actually. Actually, is, tomorrow's Thursday. You know what? I'll probably do it tomorrow since. Yeah, Zach's not coming over. I'll, I'll probably do it tomorrow, so. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Lady D has more polygons than all of her ass than Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, Banjo Kazoo. <laughs> That's not a kazoo. What sure it is. <laughs> That's a <laughs> Vuvuzela. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> well, Banjo Vuvuzela didn't sound good enough. Uh, I will not be back for the next uh, Banjo stream, sounds like. Nah, he's got other stuff to do. Yep. Watch out for that tick on the ground there. I think it'd be a Lyme disease. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Vuvuzela. It's some kind of horn. It's not a flute or a, a kazoo. This is a very odd game. I love it, though. It I love it. It is. And there's what Tui looks like when she's not mutated. What's more important uh, than my stream? I don't know. Maybe getting a job. Yeah. Taking care of his wife. Yep. Oh no. Alright, yeah. Alright, we'll call right. that a stream then. That was fun. Thank y'all for joining us for that. We did a little bit of yeah. Long Dark, we did a little bit of Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. yeah. But I... Do we wanna do we wanna do a shout out for anything? Or uh shout out Spay new to your pets. Um be sure to wash your hands after you've thrown your cum onto the ceiling. Yep. Um The Delta variant's kinda doing its thing, probably about time uh to start masking up. Uh Oh, come on. We just uh, finally got rid of those masks. Now we gotta wear them again. Trans rights um, don't support wars. So, there you go. Yeah, no, war, war equals bad. Yes, in all cases. No excuses. There's no exceptions to that rule. It's absolute. Yeah, it is.